The English Dreju is a poem made of four lines. Each line includes five or seven monosyllabic words. The lines follow a set thematic progression and end with an AABA rhyme scheme. However, there is much more to English Dreju than these simple rules indicate. A successful English Dreju must be both poetic and harmonious, and in this tradition, that means a poem must have li yi as well as wen dao. Li Yi is a term used to describe a classical Chinese poem's core poetic meanings: its theme, tone, and overall feeling. Wen Dao refers to the pattern of the poem, following the patterns of heaven and earth, its harmony, rhythm and rhyme, parallelism of the meaning, as well as parallelism of the sound. The Li Yi or theme of a poem reveals how a poet sees the world, and in return. We see his or her own inner nature. The Chinese imperial examination system believed poetry could not only reveal one's intelligence and sensitivity, but also one's originality and gracefulness. In short, classical Chinese poetry was a public mirror for one's own heart and mind. To best reveal one's highest self through a classical Chinese poem, one must first master the rules. Li Yi, rule number one. Li Yi first and foremost results from one's ability to blend the natural world or Jing with one's inner emotion or Qing. The first two lines introduce the Jing or the natural setting. The first line is called Qi and it introduces the natural scene. The second line is called Zheng and it deepens and extends the Jing or natural setting. The third line is called Zhuan and it transitions the poem toward Qing, the poet's interior feeling. The fourth line is called He. And it brings and combines the Jing or nature and Qing feeling into a final conclusion or Yuanhe. Wen Dao, rule number two: follow the proper form. Number one: use only monosyllabic words. Second: include only five or seven monosyllabic words on each line. Three: group your words into units or groupings: two together, then two together, and then three together. For example, cold stones. Clear streams, late noon shade. Try to sequence words so that they connect meanings inside each grouping more than they do between the groupings. Stones and clear do not follow as well as cold stones, for instance. Four. End the lines with the rhyme scheme a a b a. Because the Jeju form does not have many words, the end rhymes become a very powerful part of the overall sound of the poem. Try not to rhyme words in any other position in the poem. By following level one and two rules, you can write an unregulated Jeju, which is best for beginners. Wen Dao, rule three and four. These higher level rules are for regulated Jeju or Lu Shi, and combine the beauty of poetry with the game qualities of crossword or Sudoku puzzles. Wen Dao, rule three. Parallel and anti-parallel meanings. Write the first two lines so that the words in each position echo the meaning of the words above and below. Dark night, dim stars, fresh fog drifts, gray dusk, pale moon, crisp haze shifts. In line three, the words in the same vertical positions below will be antithetical to the meanings above. Clear day, flushed skin. Worn thoughts still. When viewed vertically, we see columns of matching nouns with nouns, adjectives with adjectives, and verbs to verbs. The first two lines reveal a similarity. The third line reveals a difference. Wen Dao, Rule Four: Parallel and Antithetical Sound. Monosyllabic English and Classical Chinese are roughly split between long and short vowel sounds. Long vowel sounds are words that end in a vowel: sky, flaw, who, bay, or end in voiced consonants. They are called ping, lab, dad, lag, jazz, rave, lathe, age. Short vowel sounds, on the other hand, end in unvoiced consonants and are called z, lap, tat, tack, lass, laugh, latch, path. 
English speakers are not taught this distinction because native speakers do not need to know the rule to produce the sound correctly. But writing English jeju at this level requires one to hear it. Once you learn how to distinguish these vowel lengths, you are ready to restore harmony by following the same patterns as classical Chinese poets. Cold wind, short branch blows, brisk gust, dense limb flows, warm drops, wide eyes mist, new storm sweeps dust slow. When one can create a beautiful poem while following all of these rules, one would have passed the most difficult level of the Tang Dynasty imperial examination. Your poem's Li Yi would reveal you to be a true Jin Shi, a scholar poet the emperor could entrust with the responsibilities of governing. For more about English Jeju, see the following websites, and good luck.